Dave, Andrea, and then you know Heaven, Corey. His name is Corey, y'all. I call him Jay. Miss Andy. Sorry about that. Um, so Corey decided to grace me with his presence, and I didn't know Corey was coming. I have never spoken in front of Corey uh, before. Corey and Pastor do a lot of things for have on the back. <laughs> but thank you, Corey, for coming. And then school does this, and you want to go. And then you want to tell me you got this one for me. So thank you for being here. Anyways, as I was stating, um, what I was saying was, what better way to start the new year out than getting people together and just networking, giving out cards, and just trying to find out where everyone is and where everyone wants to go and to encourage. Like Trish has a great business. You know, when people want to buy homes and then you want to do some different things with your home, you know, we got the in-house cook up. We want the, we want the, uh, the shower without the glass or whatever, just without the doors, whatever the thing that you wanted. Now we know someone. Miss Ingrid does infusions. She does weight loss. She lost 10 pounds dealing with Miss Ingrid, and she got 21 to She always finds out, but it worked, because I really did, but it worked. And heaven, all your technology needs, trading money to make more money. You get ready to go to medical school. You do a radiology. You do an x-ray. Deanna got school and kids on lock, you know. Now, Corey, since you came, we all introduce what we do. So we're going to have you introduce what you do. And then make sure you tell them your side of your business. Okay, so what I do, I deal with a lot of infrastructure, uh, like storms and storage like right? last year, cover for the different counties and cities, and uh, a cover for defects, so we don't have to be in the road. We try to come through a rehab and fix the streets, the underpart the under the under the under part of the street. Uh, it's a part of the side of it, um, so that we don't have to be in the road and detour and stuff like that. So I've been doing it like 12 years, so it's more like civil engineering work. Uh, and then on the side, I just, so I do all the shoes, like you know, like everybody needs stuff. So if you need anything, you know, you know, I'm going to get mine. And I don't know, my shoes are about spray, so I'm going to get my shoes ready to make sure you spray. Okay. Right. Yeah, because I have a 15 year old. Mm -hmm. All the shoes, like the shoes that Wood has that just came out, Wood was wearing them shoes, and people were like, How you get them shoes? He, he got them before Christmas. Mm -hmm. um, Lauren has some shoes that came out in March before everyone was wearing them, and they was like, How you get them shoes? So, Curry, it's better to deal with them and get it before they come out, because that's what makes sense to the kids. When they come out, it's like they everybody got it. Mm -hmm. But if you can rock them before they come out, so Corey is very resourceful. So thank you for sharing that. Um, you guys have phones. Oh, so I had some bullet points. That's what I was going to talk about. So I decided to write every. I wanted Pastor to speak and get us COVID. So I decided to um, write everything down that I wanted um, to talk about because I felt like if I wrote it down, then I won't preach. I won't sit here and get happy because a lot of times I'll start getting happy. I don't believe that's my calling. Other people believe that's my calling. I don't want to do it. Again, maybe I'm being disobedient. <laughs> um, so one of the bullet points that I want to talk about is stop being the go-to people or the go-to person for people we can't go to. We got to stop doing that. Mm -hmm. You know, she should be able to come to me. I should be able to come go to her. She shouldn't just be able to go to me and then I can't go back to her. With that being said, we have to stop pouring into cups that don't pour back into us. It has to stop. There are certain things, and what I'm talking about is us setting up boundaries. I do up a lot. As you guys see, so many people, I hold on to my friends. I hold on to the good friends, let's say that. Or well, I hold on to the friends that God um, tells me to hold on to. I do a lot of things. Heaven would attest that. I, Deanna would attest that. I do a lot. Lefty work, I do a lot of humanitarian work. Ms. Ingrid came out with a lot of me last minute Thanksgiving. Even though the numbers didn't come out the way we wanted the numbers to come out, I still was out there meeting people and giving out the food because that's what it's about. So I do a lot of things, not because my mother wants to, it's because that's what my mother is supposed to um, 
to do. So I want to make sure I'm not preaching, so I just want to do it with bullet points. Um, when God has an assignment on your life, you can't just hang with any guy. So now your circle has to change. Your circle has to be different. As you see, I choose a certain type of circle, but as you see, people have been in my life for a lot of years. That is for a reason, because everybody can't go where I'm going. A lot of people don't understand me. I'm an analytical, I analyze everything. I'm an analytical woman. I love numbers. I love making money. In this society, you either rich or you poor. There's no more middle class. And we just have to keep it real within ourselves. And then I was saying is, this new pandemic or whatever it's called, my new pandemic is prayer. And if we don't get on that bandwagon and understand that we need to change our resources and change things up so we're not worrying about, prime example, they build things for the home. If this thing shut down, this shut them down. She got a baby, she got a husband. So the whole point of this is that we all have to do this together. If this is our sister, we got to have her back. Like until she, when we down, she should have ours. Now you guys get in one of our Um A lot of people were supposed to be here this morning, and they're not here. And I chose God over a pandemic. Regardless of what the situation is, I chose God. Then like, oh my gosh, and this person did this, and this person did that, and this is going on. I'm not worried about what's going on on the outside. I'm worried about what's going on on the inside. But this is my church right here. And I'm worried about me doing right and carrying out and delivering the things that he wants me to deliver and do it the way he wants me to do it. Then I don't worry. I don't worry. I'm a single mother. My daughter's going to college debt free. I'm not rich. You either rich or you poor. I'm neither, but I'm knowledgeable and I'm resourceful and I make do what I have to do. I, for 2022, decided that I was, I, I was always an aggressive woman and then I kind of chilled for 2021. Well, I'm going back to being aggressive. Deanna knows me, heaven knows me. You tell me where to check out, I'm going to get it. I charge myself this year. And I suggest you guys charge yourself too. My charge is by August 1st, I need to have made $500,000. Heaven knows I'm a single mom. Do my kids live like I'm a single mom? Mm -hmm. I charged myself for 2020 to make um, $250,000. I did. So I'm doubling it because for 2022, he doing things for us in doubles. He's doubling our faith. He's doubling our finances. He's doubling our wisdom. He's going to double so many different things. I had to double my number. What's the number? 500,000. I'm going to do it. So that means whoever I need to get down, whatever door I need to get down, whatever I need to do, if, and I'm okay with myself, I am going to, for 2022, get up, get out, and get something. And the thing is, is that you guys are here. And either we all jump on the bandwagon, or we don't. Whatever I can do to support Ingrid. There are, I'll write grants. There are some things that Ingrid needs to do. I feel like we all have a business. Corey has, but he's a great example. Great shoe business. But he's not pushing himself as hard as he can push himself. You understand what I'm saying? Because that business right there, as much money as we stand in line as black and African American people and spend five or six hundred dollars, he should own that. So what's our job? To push him and make sure yeah. that he has the resources to do what he has to do. And so I'm glad he showed up. You know, I'm like, oh, my God. When he, when he come, I'm like, oh, Lord, Lord. But I'm glad he showed up. You know, had She knew how to get the money from other ground. I walk away from it. 
I walked away from it. She loved it. It became too much for me. When we opened up the bakery, was it, what was it filled with? This was in 2014, did it? 2015? What, what was it filled with? With the bakery? Nothing but what? So my, my, so what I do is read. Because there's people in this room have, have Corey was on the phone with a celebrity wife for me. But there's people in this room, like she lived it because she goes to my events. I used to do events all the time. That's why you heard her say, well, I'm always supporting because I do a lot of events. And I do a lot of events where people say, well, I used to. I walked away from it was hearing me. I mean, it was like, can you come do this? Can you come do that? And I was making good money, but it wore me completely out. So I don't want to be a social anymore. I don't want to be with the who's in the room and hang out with the balls and the go to the listen. I don't do that anymore. I want to do what I need to do for God. Because that wasn't God. That was just me having fun and making a lot of money doing it and elevating myself and just getting my, my there's another way for me to get my brain out. You know, like I was mentioning in my book to you guys, I'm giving birth to it at the end of the month. Well, I don't want to. I've been having that book probably about four or five months now and never took the cover off the book to see what it looked like because I was scared. I'm not scared anymore for 2022 because this year is going to be my year. He told me to get up, get out, and get it. Tony, oh, Tony, the tell me what you did. So I used to teach in Baltimore television, media, theater at the collegiate level in high school. Um, and just like she was saying about a book, I had a book for 10 years and I wrote the book called Between Man and God, My Personal One-to-One -one Conversations. And this book doesn't tell how, like she was saying, being with the in crowd, going from a street hustler, not and walking away, not because I went to jail or anything like that, but because I saw everything and everyone around me going to prison. So I said, what is God protecting me for? Mm -hmm. So I took it upon myself to say, yo, you either walk away, went back to school and got my degree and stuff like that. And, you know, so it's like, that's who I serve now. As far as the streets and all that, it's too much that come with that game. So. So Tony does TV, Tony does television, Tony does video. That's a great resources when you want to do your studies or anything that we do on our websites, anything. He is a great resource. You know, there's a lot of things I talked about. I told you guys I was being very disobedient for 2021. I talked about it. There's a lot of things that I dropped in 2021 that he told me I could pick up in 2021. And he's, he's, he's a God of a second chance. He's giving me a second chance. And whatever you guys want to do, do it. But don't be stagnant. Don't wait, don't keep it on the shelves. Take it off the shelves. It's all about sacrifices. You got to make sacrifices. One of the things that when Corey and I met, that Corey and I was supposed to do was a vlog, right? And I was so hyped and so excited about this vlog. Well, we just met Tony. See how you do it? And, I, and my, my goal was, I said, I, I have to get back on that vlog. I got to speak to people, because I have some things that I need to say to people. And our chemistry is so good, so we can always give a male version of it, I can always give a female version of it, and then we just met Tony. So, he already won. I have not even been asleep yet, because my mind is going, because I know I got eight months to make $500,000, and I'm going to do it, and I'm not afraid to do it. You, you understand what I'm saying? So, the other thing that I wanted to um, talk about is us just standing tall. Um, in 2022, which goes back to the economy. Like, just because the economy is shut down don't mean that we have to shut down. We have to teach other people how to be home without to get something. That's just going to be my thing for this year. I tell you, we're not letting others define us. I don't care what people have to say about me. I know a lot of people don't know how to take me. I'm, I, to me, I'm very humble. I would do anything for anybody. And most times you don't even have to like act. I'll do it. That's just who I am. Anybody asks me to do something, I am going to do it. You know, so I'm, I'm very humble. I'm not too big to, for anyone. You know, and so that's how I want us all to be with each other. I just want everyone to tap in into their destiny. And I'm hoping that I'm just encouraging and challenging people and charging people to don't sit anymore. 
Don't sit anymore. Stand. Do what you want to do. Don't be afraid anymore. I mean, my whole family gonna hate me when this one comes out. He give me what the whole entire family is probably gonna have issues. She ain't worried about it no more. You know, you know these. But I ain't worried about it no more. I don't care no more. He said, release the book. I'm releasing the book. Just tell me all my business. But I'm releasing the book. You wanna know why? Because her new thing for 2022, she wants to get into, you know this, right? I'm gonna get into politics. I'm getting into politics. I'm getting, I'm getting, I'm getting into politics. That's what I wanna do. I don't know if I wanna be a senator. I don't know if I wanna be a congresswoman. But I'm getting into politics. Excuse me. Um, I told you guys that I just graduated. I'm here to take the bar. Maybe I'll become a judge, but I'm not going to get into politics. That's what I'm going to do. So the good thing about that is me having my law degree to back me up. And then with the knowledge and the skills that I already have, it's going to back me up. So I'm okay because I know I'm going to make my $500,000. Everybody got to think about what they want to do. Again, I write grants. Just Ingrid got some things that she want to do, but she want to help the community and that she want to help people be in the shade and watching their way. And right. doing things, and, and doing things <laughs> like that, it works. It works. So I'm gonna help her. You know, I don't know how I'm gonna fit the grant in, but I already know that I'm not gonna be sleeping. So in between time, either I'm gonna do it for her or I'm show her. But she's gonna have the money that she needs this year to get what she needs to be going. And you got my word. You got my word. You know, and so Corey and I are very, very, this is my best friend. So we're very, 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 very close. And so it's kind of hard, and I don't know I'm talking about this, it's kind of hard when they're, they're men and they, they, you're a woman and y'all come from two different scopes of practice and two different lifestyles. But I always told Corey, I mean, we have all these facts, but I always told Corey, and I'm going to tell you later. If I tell you that I'm down for you, you need to be able to believe that. If I tell you I'm here for you, you need to be able to trust that. You already know I got your back. We the been through some stuff. We the been through some stuff. We the been through some stuff. You already know. You already know how we haven't been through anything yet, but you y'all already know how to get down. Y'all already know it doesn't, it's, it's not even a question. Am I right or wrong? You don't have to say anything. That's just me. That is who I am. I used to always like call the pastor and be like, wow, I'm such a giver. And people do me so wrong. And you know what? Every time the pastor be like, I want you to go. And y'all want me to have time to go out there. He used to be like, stop worrying about what kind of people treating you. You do what I say. So I don't care if they dog you to the end, which they do. You have to do what I say. She knows. I have been through hell. I just went through some stuff a couple of weeks ago where I let the world get to the best of me, right? And in this, I'm texting, saying I want to do a brunch. She didn't even know I've been through hell because it's not about me. It's not about me. And I just wanted, I know you guys know me, but everyone else to get a better understanding. It's never about me. I'm not, I don't do it for accolades because I can care less. I got blessed with a very nice car for Christmas that I don't even want. You wanna know why? It's not me. It's him. It ain't me. I have to be me and be true to myself. So, like I said, my daughter goes to school at three. My daughter got a car in love. My daughter got insurance. I got a 16 year old. I got another grown son that don't want, that won't leave me alone. You know. <laughs> He won't leave me alone. I just have to divorce the little boy and everything. He won't leave me alone. He got his own place, his own car, doing his own thing. He tried to trust he won't leave me alone. But, you know, that's just me. So I just wanted to open up the ground and let everyone just talk about if there's something else that they wanted to do or some things that they had. And you just never know what's in the house. And then I'll close out. I'll close out.